Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are playing a brand new game. We are playing a mobile game this time, it's called Space Flight Simulator. And uh, it's going to be similar to like the Space Agency game, but it's more realistic. Now, I will be putting a link to the Android store. Uh, the Google Play Store, where you can get this game, get the free version of it, as well as the Apple Store, if I can find a link for that. Uh, both of those will be down in the description, and you can get this game for free, uh, although the free version doesn't quite have all the parts, and it doesn't have all the solar system, so I mean, you know, if you get that and you try it out and you like it a little bit, then... You know, the, the full version, which I have here, is about five bucks. So, you know, if you like it, you want to play it, I recommend getting the full version. Um, so, this game is developed, it's programmed, and it's art were done by Stefo Mai Morana. And its soundtrack was done by Ashton Mills. But, you know, that's it. This is, you know, two people working on this game. Did a great job with the physics. You know, as far as the gameplay goes, it's pretty good, too. Um, so, yeah. We're just going to go over the other controls real quick here. We've got a tutorial screen. And the tutorial has a couple video tutorials. They take you out to YouTube. And it's a couple pre-recorded videos. And then you've got text tutorials, which sort of help you out here. If you're having trouble, you know, actually making it into orbit or whatnot here. So, yeah, we're going to go over that stuff. Uh, next is the settings. We have the music, the sound, the screen rotation, and FPS. So this game, you can turn the music and sound on and off. You can change whether the screen rotation happens or not. Um, I haven't decided what we're going to do with that. I think we're going to try and, you know play the game in landscape mode to make it look a little better on YouTube, but I, I'm not sure. We may do it in just the regular portrait orientation. Um, and then the sandbox settings down below. These are options that are you get if you buy the game. You can turn infinite fuel on, get rid of atmospheric drag, etc. We're not going to do that. We're just going to, you know, leave those alone. Everything here is going to be actual, you know, rocketry right no cheats um so if you have an active game resume game will be available and you can just click on that to go to whatever the last thing you were doing was but we don't here we're gonna go to build a new rocket and we're going to build a rocket i mean it's, it's pretty self-explanatory here so explaining what goes on here we have three bars on the top left right over all the parts and that opens up the different folders which gives us all the different options now if you have the free game i believe you basically have the basic part list and the utility part list i don't think you have anything else here so the full game has you know some bigger fuel tanks bigger engines some more pieces, we have electrical stuff, we have some fairings, you know, etc. Okay, I, I, I really enjoy the game, so like I said, if, if you do too, I recommend getting the full version of it. Now, on the right, at the top, we have the play button, which brings you to the simulation where you actually fly the rocket. And we have the three bars down below it, which opens up another drawer that contains some buttons here. We can save and load. We can upload and download, although the upload and download function is currently being reworked. So we can't do that right now, maybe in the future. Um, you can clear, and if you actually have an active simulation going, where it says exit on mine, it should say resume, which will allow you to go into your simulation and pick up where you were last. So then you've got your buttons on the right. Again, you've got the zoom in, zoom out. Basically, if I drop a part down and then say I move it, this back button here, it's just what it does. It, it's a undo. So clicking it once is basically the act of you picking up the piece. Clicking it a second time puts the piece back where you had it. Clicking it a third time will get rid of it. Now, we can grab a piece, and while we're holding onto it, we've got 
these next buttons. We've got rotation, which we click that. We've got mirror, and we can mirror it in both directions here. Um, but you can do that, or what you can do is you can just click the rotation button or the mirror buttons, and they will rotate and or mirror all of the pieces. So if you want to repeat something. And then finally on the bottom here, we have color options. So it wants to hold a part to change its skin. So if I click on and hold this fuel tank and I press the button down bottom, it changes the color of it. And we have a couple different, you know, color options available. Not all of the colors are the same for all the rockets. Um, and I'm probably not going to do too much with colors. So that's up, up to you. You can do whatever you want here, but I'm just probably going to leave my stuff white. Uh, so this video has been boring for far too long, so let's actually get into it. So today's objective is going to be to launch a rocket into space. We are not going to get it in orbit. You know, it's a, it's sad, but that's, you know, whatever. Uh, we're going we're gonna to launch a rocket and then return it. It's just going to be a test to make sure that we can launch one. And then the next video we do, we'll launch one, we'll get it into orbit, and then we'll talk about orbital mechanics and how you actually move through space. So we are going to start with a Hawk engine. Now, as it suggests based on the text here, the Hawk engine has high thrust but lower efficiency. So it's a great rocket to start with for a first stage here. We're going to grab a 20 ton fuel tank next and then we're going to grab a separator. Alright, and then finally we're going to grab a command module because every rocket needs something to actually control it and we have two parts that can do that. We have the command module and then if we go to the utility we have a probe core. And the probe core also works, but, you know, we're going to send a, send an astronaut into space today. And then, finally, we want to grab a parachute so that we can, you know, bring the astronaut back safely. Alright, so let's get going here. Alright, now we are at the launch pad. First, we're going to quickly go over the controls. We've got save and load. This is saving and loading the simulation, not uh, like, not a piece, not a part, right? Or a rocket. It's actually loading the simulation that, and, and everything in it. Uh, then we can go back to build new. Build new takes you to a blank slate. Back to build takes you back to the most re recent rocket you've built. Then we have clear debris. Any rocket that does not have a probe core or a command module, anything like that is considered debris. If you click clear debris, it'll destroy it and reduce clutter. Now, I personally am going to go through and try and not clutter up the area. I'm going to try, try to make sure we um, don't leave any junk in space, basically. So we shouldn't have to use that. Now, next you can switch between your map and your rocket view. The rocket view is where you're going to do stuff like separate, turn your engines on and off, hit the parachute. The map view is where you're going to do most of your, you know, actual navigation. And, you know, if we zoom out, we can see, oh, look at this. It's basically the, the planet Earth and its moon. And we can keep going out. And, hey, here's the solar system. So I've actually got a mod to get the entire solar system here. I, uh, if you have the free game, I think it's pretty much just the sun, Earth, and Mars. And then if you have the full game, I think it gives you everything up to Jupiter. It's either everything up to Jupiter or everything up to Saturn. So I will, I'm sure, link to the mod in the future so you can get your full solar system also. Um, but let's zoom back in here because we're going to get launching and we want to be about where we need to be here. So we're going to zoom in so we can see the rocket and let's get going here because this video is long and I haven't really done anything. So first thing we need to do is turn our thruster on and off and you can do that simply by tapping on the thruster itself. Then we control our throttle here. We're going to throttle up to like 
75 percent you know some somewhere around there 76 is probably fine but i'm going to do 75 and that's going to get us enough lift that we can escape um if you have a real heavy rocket you might want to go up to 100 but we just we don't need 100 so we're going to do 75 and then basically we want to click the off button and that's going to turn it on and launch the rocket all right so here we are we're launching and basically what we want to do is we want to get ourselves ready to start turning we want to turn to the right to 45 degrees right about now at 2000 meters okay and then we're probably going to want to go to the space view to the map view right and basically we're just going to wait until this apoapsis is marked at like 35 kilometers and we can just wait here turn our turn our thruster off right and what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to coast now since we're so low in the atmosphere we're going to lose a little bit of height based on the drag on the rocket that's fine we don't need too much um now if we were going to orbit the next step we do is to turn ourselves to roughly perpendicular to the planet and then we wait until we pass the Kármán line and actually make it into space here which it'll tell us like right now it is past the Kármán line leaving the atmosphere and reaching space so we're in space now we're going to go to 100 percent thrust we're going to click off again to turn the rocket on and see what's happening here our trajectory is actually expanding now if we were going to make it into orbit this is basically what we do here we just keep expanding it until eventually uh we didn't we didn't quite have enough fuel i didn't think we would <laughs> eventually we make a circular orbit around and the uh the trajectory will actually come out of the bottom of the planet here but that's that's beyond the scope of this video we're just gonna go through and accelerate time now what we can do is click the buttons on the top to accelerate we pass the apoapsis now we're heading back down and i'll explain apoapsis and periapsis and all the you know retrograde and prograde in the next video when we talk about orbital mechanics and stuff um but we're about to go back into the atmosphere so now we can start working on landing so we're going to break the separator that's going to drop off that piece now what we're going to want to do is see the arrow on the right side of the screen right above the on button or the off button we're going to like want to try and point ourselves roughly towards that and what's going to happen is the air as we move through the atmosphere it's going to hit the bottom of the command module and it's going to slow us down you can see our speed fairly rapidly dropping there are two criteria for being able to open your parachute and actually slow yourself down and not smack into the ground right um so the first criteria is the velocity needs to be less than 250 meters per second which we're good on and then second we need the height of our rocket to be at less than 2500 meters from the ground so we're just gonna we're just gonna sit here and wait oh and uh see how our actual trajectory is changing as we go through this the trajectory is based on our speed really basically our speed relative to the body we are orbiting okay the the second i think i talked about it the height off the ground has to be less than 2500 meters we're actually there right now but i'm gonna wait till we get to about a thousand so when we hit 1000 meters i'm gonna click on the parachute there it is and it'll go to a half deployed state now this is really basically what it what it st says the parachute pops up it's halfway deployed so it's slowing us down a little bit and uh, if we use just this command module here and the parachute it's going to slow us down to 13.4 ish meters per second i think it 
I think it's the slowest is like literally 13 meters, maybe 12.9 or something like that. Uh, and then we just wait right now. And what we're waiting for is the height again. So as we go down, we're going to be half deployed until we hit 100 meters off the ground. So we're just about there. You can see the ground rushing in, and I can I can zoom out. This is another um, part of the mod here, where you actually have an image of the planet. There we go. So I missed it a little, but we hit 100 meters, and the parachute's now fully deployed, and it's going to slow us down to around 2.9 meters per second, and we're just going to gently coast in. And uh, yeah, we're done with this one we've made it to space and hopefully made it back safely so once we're here we land on the ground we can go back to our map view one thing I want to caution you on there's nothing else in my simulation here and this is my active rocket so if I recover this and basically you just click on the rocket and click recover, it's going to end your simulation. So if you recover your active rocket, just know it's going to end the simulation. If you've got, if you want to keep going with the simulation, switch to another rocket. And we'll, we'll go over that at, at some point in the future. And then you can recover the rocket without ending the simulation. So hit recover. There we are, mission achievements. So this rocket made it past 15 kilometers in height. We have passed the Kármán line and left the atmosphere and reached space. So we're just going to say complete mission here. Boom, and it puts us back on the title screen ready to go again. So that'll be it for today. The next time when we return, we will go through and do um, another launch. We will make it into orbit this time, and then we'll go over orbital mechanics. So thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Space Flight Simulator. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everybody.